This is Hector El Chido Canales bringing you another Wheel of Unboxing video where I take three random figures, line them up, spin the wheel, and unbox the winner! The deal is, man, you gotta step up and spin that wheel. For today's Wheel of Unboxing, it's the Masters of the Universe Origins line Wheel of Unboxing Edition. I love hanging my figures up on my wall, but I have recently run out of space. So instead of putting these great looking figures packed away in a box, hidden away, why don't I unbox them and have some fun before I put them away in a box? First up on the wheel, it's Roboto Wave 3, Triclops Wave 4, Merman, wave five. And if it falls on nothing, then we unbox nothing. And you've watched this video for nothing. Yay. And a new category up on the wheel is unbox them all. So if it falls on unbox them all, yes, you've guessed it right. I unbox all three of them. Let's spin to win. Let's give it a good spin. Unbox them all! Yeah! Now before I unbox them all, let's take a quick look at the packaging. Look at that background. It's pretty close to an original back card. I'd say the back of it looks a little little cooler now there's less figures on display but that artwork is amazing now the reason I didn't unbox this guy earlier was because I've got the original he's out loose displayed now it does say twist waist unleash his robot power if you have seen the original you know that you twist his waist his mouth and the gears inside start moving around even without his laser gun What's that? or his laser axe a robot. or his awesome power claw roboto 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 this unstoppable enemy of evil go get him roboto 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 yeah! is the most powerful robot in the universe roboto 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 new from the masters of the universe collection i got two shiras one i unbox one i put up on my wall and i have one merman so i already know what the comic inside looks like merman i bought him just because well he's a little bit different than the original one which i got the original origins figure it's the lords of power merman i did get fisto and evelyn evelyn i unboxed Faker I unboxed, but I bought two of Fakers. Now Triclops, this was one of my favorites as a kid. I don't have the original and I don't have another Origins figure. So this one, I'm actually looking forward to unboxing and just checking them out. Since I already know what the comic is from unboxing She-Ra, Check out my Shira video if you want to see more of the comic. Right now, let's just take a look at the toy. And just like the original, he comes with extra interchangeable hands. Next up, Merman. Since I've already unboxed a couple of these from this series, doesn't matter what the comic says, you can either watch the unboxing of the Evil Lin or Faker to see what it shows since i have unboxed already two of them i can smell the brand new toy smell here he comes with his sword and last but not least triclops i've already unboxed hordak for this series i know what the comic says if you want to see it check out that hordak unboxing it comes with one huge sword since I have them all out here, let's smell them all at the same time. So Merman and Triclops have a very strong new toy smell. Roboto, not as much, except for his legs. There's like the clear plastic part doesn't smell like anything. 
Although a lot of them have so many great things to them, they also have some faults. Let's take Roboto. He actually has that action. Check it out, look at this. That is so cool, just like the original one. But a new gimmick that these Origins figures have is that you can take their body parts, their heads, their waists, their arms apart, and just change them around and basically create these new characters. Unfortunately, because of Roboto's gimmick, you can't, and if you try, you break him. I tried and I think I kind of messed up his little action there. Something really cool though, the other two hands that come attached, well, one's a, a gun. If you don't lose them, you can have a lot of fun as a kid playing with this guy. Next up is Merman. This is the one who really disappointed me. He looks real cool. Unfortunately, his joints are all messed up and stuck together. I tried bending his elbow, doesn't work. I tried bending the other elbow, doesn't work. But I don't want to keep trying with the elbows because they look like they're just going to break off. His hands already, look at that crooked hand. This hand was kind of hard to put the sword in because as you'll see right now and so you gotta make sure you have nails in order to really open up that grip this guy really disappointed me because of that lack of articulation that he's supposed to have let's try it one last time no and that's me putting a lot of pressure on it too they both look really cool and maybe as little, little small kids, I could really easily just bang them together and I'd have a lot of fun. But as an adult and I try to pose them up and whatnot, eh, it kind of messes up. This guy, he's still cool. But the one that I really liked, and he doesn't come with a lot of gimmicks. Very simple, very retro, very classic, Triclops. He doesn't have a lot of gimmicks. It's only his eyes that turn and turn and turn and turn. And that's that's it. And the massive sword that he comes with. The new gimmick in almost every figure in the Origins line where you can take them apart. It's here. And it's just another guy that can fight against He-Man. Almost finishing up this video. Don't look over those simple figures. Because this guy is really good. Unfortunately, this guy is supposed to be very simple, and he is, but he comes with all this other stuff. Uh, you just can't pose him around too much. This guy, he's a great action figure. He just can't take his body parts off. I would have liked to have made a Robo He-Man. That would have been pretty cool, but it's cool. I'm happy with him because it's also just like Triclops. It's a pretty great representation of the original 80s figures. Now let's take a closer look at the whole bodies. So look at all the detail in this guy. The arms, mechanical parts on his arm. There ain't detail on the outer shell, the clear shell. So unlike many others, he does not share any body parts with anybody the hands are even different now taking a look at merman he's kind of like a new figure but he shares the same body parts as the original release of the origins line merman except for the head this is a brand new head this head is not shared by stinkor And here's Triclops. He basically has the same body as He-Man. Everything's the same. From the gauntlets to the waist. The only difference is the colors. A bigger sword. Different head. Thank you for joining me on this Wheel of Unboxing. Motu Origins Edition. Don't forget to check out the other 
videos on this playlist. This is pretty cool. I'm going to take it to my nephews and have a lot of fun with this guy. That guy, not so much because his hands fell off.